everybody, how's it going? Joe's Neon here. Welcome to Saturday afternoon in camp. We'll get the priorities straight. All right, here's what's going on. Um, we got some really nasty weather coming in. Uh, had a couple of uh, day folk come in that were just coming in for the day. And they said, uh, yeah, this evening, early evening, it's going to come down torrential. And it's not going to stop until Monday. So it's going to make for a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting evening here and an exit. But I can't even wait. I love this kind of stuff. I've made, um, I've made arrangements so that if I do get stuck early this evening where I can't be outside, I've got my emberlet all set up with custom cut hardwood. I'm going to show you that. So I don't care. I can still go underneath my fly, lower it down a little bit, and just run my emberlet nice and low. But anyhow, welcome to this evening's fire. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a Fresno lens, magnifying glass and um, chaga. But as you can see, it became overcast and, and there's, I can't do it. It's not going to happen. So we're going to just do a simple flit and steel fire like you folks see me do a million times. Sorry to bore you if that's the case. Um, but again, I just wanted to, 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 to let you folks see um, I'm really enjoying making my um, what you would call a bird's nest and in in a bunch like this so that's what I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it the bird's nest bunch okay so again what I did was I took all those real fine fine spruce tips the very very ends of dead spruce branches and then I processed and very finely tore apart birch bark, put it in the center, and tie it around the bottom here with a um, maple sapling. And again, you just very carefully bend it between your fingers, both directions, run it over a rock, the bark will come right off, and it's great. You just lash it up. Now, this, this is something right here that is so durable, I could travel with this. I could literally travel with this if I kept it dry. So, anyhow... Uh, let's see how uh, let's see how many strikes it's gonna take. We got any guessers out there for old Joe? How many strikes it's gonna take? How many times it's gonna take this old boy to get this fire going? Well, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we'll get lucky, huh? I need some Gatorade first. Boy, I sure am looking forward to dinner. Texas State Fair Chili tonight. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. I don't know. That was three or four anyhow. I'm going to tuck that right. So that's pretty much how you do that, folks. Thanks for checking in with me for this evening. I'm um, doing the Texas State Fair Chili by Packet Gourmet. Um, you guys are totally getting smoked out. Um, 
But it's good for you. If you got mosquitoes where you're at, you probably don't after all that smoke. There's the, the mosquitoes and bugs have been really down here, very, very low, so it's been absolutely fantastic. Anyhow, folks, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'm going to get this fire here built up, and uh, I'll be checking back in with you a little bit later this evening.